as we see the end of time, as we see the end of days, many of us experience the eclipse that took place on the other day where the, the moon stood in the place of the sun and blocked it out <clears throat> and created a moment of darkness in certain areas of the earth and it X'd out a certain area in our region signs in the heavens hallelujah we're at the end of days and there's no doubt a time that we must prepare ourselves sometimes what I've noticed about life when trouble comes it comes abruptly it comes quickly suddenly all of a sudden when you look around it trouble is upon you and this is how the end of days are going to play out the end of days is something that has to take place but when we say end of days we're speaking of a time where error changes where everything that has been done is culminated and put into a blender and, and grounded and pounded to bring out the results of what have been done in the past. All of the evil, all of the debauchery, all of the things that have been perpetrated against the people of the Most High and against the Father, the end of days will mete out the judgment for all of those things. And we as a people, we must be prepared to lift up our head. We must be prepared to, to go to a new level, to a new place. We must be prepared for him to, to raise us up. Hallelujah. And we're gonna look, we're gonna look at this thing. Time is rapidly moving. And we're not going to be before you all day if y'all say the same. But we're speaking of the end of days. And we're going to look at Joel chapter number 3 in verse 1. It says, For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. What we're seeing here is that the end of days or in reference to his people. I often say, when you look at the first exodus, when you look at what happened to the children of Israel when they were down in Egypt, they were in a bondage and hard taskmaster working for free and, and, and doing all that they had to pay for, for breaking the covenant, hallelujah, for, for being a hard-headed people. Hallelujah for for just just allowing the enemy to reign over them. But they prayed. They prayed and and relief came. But before the relief came, what happened? Egypt was torn apart. Egypt was was ripped. It was it was torn down by the father. Why? For a people so we see in this scripture it says, Behold, in, the, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So he's going to bring it up again. He's going to throw it in their face. These are my people that we're talking about. This is why I'm getting ready to do to you what I'm getting ready to do to you. You tried to get rid of my people so many times. You tried, you tried to kill them. You tried to annihilate them. You, you tried everything in the book to try to get rid of my people, but they're yet in the earth and in the land. And now I'm going to bring them again. I'm going to show you and prove to you that it was all about them. Let us see what the word has to say. Hallelujah. When we look into the scriptures. I'm so happy for the scriptures. Somebody ought to give him some praise real quick. Hallelujah. Glory. 
Amen. Give him some praise. We, we, we ought to learn how to praise him at the drop of a hat. Joel chapter number 3 and verse 1, it says, For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations, and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So we see that he's going to gather all nations, all nationalities of people, and he's going to point out to them who his people are in the face of all of the people, all the nations in the earth. I will also gather all nations. I will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them. That don't mean he's going to beg them and be sorrowful. No, he's going he's gonna to plead the cause of his people. He's going to speak up for us, for his people. I will plead with them there for my people and for the heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. So he's, he's bringing up all of the atrocities that have been committed against his people. That's, what, that's a part of the pleading for his people. He's going to let you know what you have done to his people. You have kept us in obscurity. You have kept us in a place where the world looked down upon us, but we are the ones that you should have been sending the billions of dollars to. You should have been building up the ghettos where the people of the Most High were residing. Verse number four. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre, Sidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will you render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? So you can't get out of this. What he's saying, if you try to recant and say, oh, we didn't mean to do it, he said, I'm going to swiftly return it on your head. This is a debt that has to be paid. There's no way around it. It has to be paid. The end of days are going to speak loudly. So many times that's why we urge and encourage the people of the Most High to position yourself. Because you can go down with your enemy. Hallelujah. If you defect on the Most High, you can go down with your enemy. All right, let's continue. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. Yeah, they have a lot of, of the artifacts and a lot of the things in their places, in their museums, and, 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 and in their places of, of, of honor, our things. Hallelujah. All right? The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the, the Grecians, uh, that ye might remove them far from their borders. See, when we look at this thing, it's about a people. The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold to the Grecians, that ye might move them far from their borders. Now, we're not talking about of something that has already happened as far as this incident and this event. This is a future event. This is something that's going to happen. They're going to be brought down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's that's coming in the in the end of days. That's an event that is going to happen. All right. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. So he's going to pay everybody that had anything to do with confiscating and degrading the people of the Most High. 
if you have noticed, you have some people that already see this, already feel this, and they're trying to express some sort of, of forgiveness or, 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 or repentance as far as trying to express to us that they are sorry, but they, they haven't really just came out and totally said it. But by the time that the Most High get finished, it's going to be a lot of uh, apologetic spirits in the earth. Those that have any kind of sense in, in, in their being ought to be apologetic because the Most High is going to turn things upside down. Hallelujah. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord have spoken it. Now when you see that where it says, for the Lord have spoken it, that lets you know that this is a sure thing that is going to happen. It's almost saying, I promise you, I promise you, it's going to happen. And I will sell. And notice he said he's going to do it. Hallelujah. I will sell your sons and daughters to the hands of the children of Judah. Just like he allowed us when we broke the covenant, he ushered us into the place of, of, of our punishment. The same thing he's going to do to the people because they overdid our punishment. He told us to be whooped with a belt, but they got... Uh, uh, barbed wire and whooped us with barbed wire instead of a leather strap. I will sell your sons and daughters into the hands of the children of Judah and they shall sell them to the Sabians to a people for all for the Lord have spoken. And when you see that, that lets you know that he's not playing. When, when I speak these words, I speak of a truth. Number nine, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war, wake up your, the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Now let me say something. You know, they're preparing this right now. They're, this is this has something to do with all of the, the, the warrior robots that they're getting together. They're trying to, to uh, formulate themselves. See, this spirit... Uh, that that is in the earth, it it is not going to bow down uh, so so immediately and rapidly. It's got to be brought into subjection by the hand of the Most High because they're going to try to fight to the end. Hallelujah! So He said, "Proclaim this among the Gentiles. Tell them to go ahead and prepare war. Wake up your mighty men. Get a, do all your scientific uh, discoveries and uh, all of your new." Uh, uh, war tactics get all your stuff together and let all the men of war draw near and let them come on let them come on out hallelujah this is, i'm not speaking this this is the most high speaking this is the 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 the, the god of glory this is the abba yah the father yahweh that speak and then he goes on to say Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruned hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones, cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So this is a time that he's going to judge all these people for all the things that they have done. The, the evil devices that they have done and perpetrated against the people of the Most High and folks in the world. This this latter day uh, 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 disease that they released in the earth that causes caused so much ruckus and caused the shutdowns and did all that. They're going to have to pay for that, for doing all the gain of function and making the disease worse than what it should have been, 
All of those things are going to have to be paid for. So he said, let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for the wickedness is great. So we see that he's, he's letting them know, all right, your time is up. It's time for me to reap. It's time for me to, to, to put on you what you put on everybody else. Hallelujah. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for the wickedness is great. Hallelujah. Then he says, as we move on, hallelujah. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decisions. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decisions. So now is a time uh, that is going to take place. Many people are going to have to be there to pay for what has been done to the people of, Mo of the Most High. And I know that it may sound hard to believe. That all of all these people in the whole world and all of the the rich folks and everybody that have done and perpetrated evil against the people of the Most High uh, are going to have to pay. It says multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decisions. Hallelujah. So... The scripture that many people look and read and say for the wealth of the riches, uh, the, the wealth of the uh, of, of of the the wicked, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the, the righteous. This is a time that you're going to see the greatest wealth transfer in history. Hallelujah! All of the gold that have been hoarded in the earth is going to be transferred. To the people of the Most High. Hallelujah. That's something to think about. Not only will just the gold be transferred to us, but He's going to give us the capability to enjoy all of those things uh, that the world has amassed, along with the glorious things that He have improvised and prepared for us throughout. Eternity is never going to end. You're going to be as God's. Hallelujah. That's what he's going to do. That's why the scriptures say, I have not seen, neither have ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. So there's going to be something very special for the people of the Most High, especially those that have prepared themselves those that have, have put on the whole arm of God and have put on the beautiful robes of righteousness. The sun, the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Hallelujah. So we see that there's going to be darkness. The sun and the moon shall be darkened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's going to be a time where darkness is going to cover the face of the earth. And we as a people, we're going to be graced with the light of the Messiah. Hallelujah. Isn't it a glorious thing to be here and experience this? The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. So it's all about a people. Listen when I tell you. It's all about a people. 
This treacherous time, this treacherous day that's getting ready to come up on the earth, it's all about the people. It's all about the wickedness that the folk have done against his people and the, 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 the wrong that they have perpetrated against all men. This is why we as a people must align ourselves, we must position ourselves so that we will not be on the wrong side of judgment. Hallelujah. Now let's continue. So shall ye know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her any more. So in other words, strangers have, have been taken on the characteristics and the titles and the identity of the true people of the Most High. While we have been squandering and squirming and scraping and trying to make it, this is a time that we will be elevated. Our true beauty will be shown. Hallelujah. It's going to be shown who we really are. All right, as we get ready to close, verse number 18 says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters. And a fountain shall come forth out of the house of the Lord, and shall water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be desolate, and Edom shall be desolate, a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. So try to tell me it's not about a people. Try to fix your mouth and say that, oh, he ain't doing that just for, no, for them Negroes. He ain't doing that for them. Try to say it. No, this is for people. Let's look at that scripture again. Verse number 19, Egypt shall be a desolate desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem from generation to generation. Didn't I tell you that it's never going to end? So some people, they think that we're wasting time. Some people tell you that you're missing all the fun. But we're preparing for the real deal where it's never going to end. It says, but Judah shall dwell forever and Jerusalem from generation to generation. Ju Judah and Jerusalem will be placed back together. You know, in the history, in the time past, when Jeroboam and Rehoboam had the separation and division, that's something that's been going on for, for the duration. Our people have always separated, couldn't get to get along together. Families separated. Some, one want to be the head and all of this kind of stuff. Away with all of that ignorance and foolishness. At this time, the scripture says that Judah shall dwell forever in Jerusalem. From generation unto generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. So uh, there's still yet some cleansing that needs to take place. That's why I keep on telling our people, you don't have everything. You don't know everything. You, you, Sometimes we, we sit like we we are y'all on the throne, sitting and pointing and trying to direct it like you ain't right, they ain't right. The, the scripture said, for I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. So, so there is some work still going to have to be done on us. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. Hallelujah. So family... We must know and we must understand that this thing is 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 culminating, is coming to a head. We had that incident with the, the
the eclipse that happened on the 8th a few days ago. And many people saying they already seeing results, seeing things happening, seeing things occurring since that has happened. Well, it's going to escalate. Whatever you are seeing, whatever is taking place, is look for to to grow exponentially. But let us get in the safety zone. Let us position ourselves that we might be in divine protection. In the book of Psalms, chapter number 91, it says, He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So let us get in that place. Let us get in that position. Let us dwell there. The Bible said, shall dwell. That means you're going to remain. That's going to be like your home, a dwelling place. The secret place is a place that we should dwell. Hallelujah. All right, family, we, we're, we're not going to continue. We just want to give you a little bit of insight and remind you that we're in the end of days and remind you that all this trouble that's coming up on the earth is coming up on them as a form of punishment for what they have done to the true people of the Most High. Somebody ought to give him some praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right. We're getting ready to let you go. We're so thankful for everyone that, that have taken our time to join in with us. It's a beautiful thing that we can come together in prayer and supplication Seek the face of the Most High. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to know that, that He's going to bless us and recover all for us. It's a blessing for us to just be able to come together and discuss His Word and to pray together and find that common ground where we can feast together. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this word. We see the end of days approaching. We experience the eclipse that happened, which is a sign in heaven. So Father, prepare us for the coming days. Help us that we might be an instrument unto righteousness that we won't allow the enemy to come in and flood us out, but that we will remain faithful unto your holy word. In the name of Yahweh Shai, that the world knows Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. All right, family. That's all we have for today. We thank you for coming in today in the room of prayer. The end of days are upon us. Let's prepare ourselves. If you're not all the way right, try to get all the way right. Do whatever you can. Repent. Turn away from all ungodliness and all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. All right, family, that's all we have. We're going to say <clears throat> peace and blessing. May the Most High bless you, smile upon you, and keep you in the center of His will. We're going to ask those of you that can and will, if you're new to this channel, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel and be a part of the prayer that we pray in the morning. Let Him speak to your heart. Pray along with us as we pray. Subscribe and hit the like button. Hallelujah. And hit the notification bell that you might get the lives and the uploads that we bring on a daily basis. Hallelujah. In the name of Yahweh Shai that the world knows Jesus. You say amen. All right, family, that's all we have for today.
We're going to say peace and blessing until we meet again. May the Most High smile upon you and keep you. Hallelujah. Shalom. Shalom.